Hello again. Right, we are back on this motor. Let me just put that down a little bit there. Um, we are going to sort the noise out and we are going to go and refit the pulley. But we now have key stock, so that I've cut that off to make a key to go in the keyway or keyways, one either side. So we can put that on. Let's just remind ourselves what the problem is. This is making a bit of a noise. Interestingly enough, it doesn't do if you fire it up like that. And that's the kind of noise we want out of it. None at all. Right. The reason why it's doing that, let me just unplug that. And... You look into there, you should be able to see the fins of the fan, which you can see freely moves without the outside moving. So basically the fans come loose. So what we are going to do is open this up, pull off the front and probably lock tight that in. Now on this particular motor, these are 5 30 seconds, no, no they're not 5 16 the nut at the other end is captive. Let me just take that off. And off here. Now, that will probably need, because I only want to go in there, I'm just going to go and stick a puller in there and just pull that off, or we'll see if it will pull off. See if I'm grouped around the back of that yet, not quite. There we go, I've got a grip on it now. And off it comes. Not as easy.
that is a plastic thingy. Let's see if we can... There is the thing that operates a centrifugal switch. Presumably those pull out and push this forward. So that. Oh, I see. Maybe that is interesting. Have a look in there. That's supposed to have a grub screw in there. Well, that's the answer. It's got a missing grub screw. Let me see if I can figure out what that is. Well, that was easy. Let me see. That looks. Hopefully, it's UNF. Let me see. Where did I put those? Where have we got? Got those. Those, those. Right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to hunt for the right size grub screw for that. Right, I found a grub screw to put in there. Let me just, there's a little hole in there, I think. Let me think now, I'm not sure what size that is, it might be 1024. If it isn't, it's 832. And in it goes. Tell that there. I've no idea how that went missing. There we go. The centrifugal switch, by the way, I'll show you this end. When that spins out, that pulls back. So if we pull these weights out, as it starts up, let me just show you, get them out. So as it starts out, the weights pull out, that goes back. And what that does, is at the back there, you see there's a little bit of uh, brass back there that that bears against and that is a switch and when that becomes detached it breaks a connection. So that's that anyway. We've done that bit, let's put this back together again. that in the bearing. That is that. This wants to be bearing cap up. Let me just see how tight it is getting the um, screws back through. Oh, that's joy. Okay. Ah. Oh. There's a little washer in there. Right, let's come out of the line. Okay, I'm just going to tip this on to its end. I can then drop that on. There we go. Twist that around until it's in line. So I need to line that up so that it's in line over here. There we go, we've got one through. Except I've got that through the wrong way round. I want to go through that way. There we go. Start that off, pull that back. Do 
to do it up tight, just going to nip it up. There we go. Now go the next one through. Got that one through. We're having a good lucky run. There's no guiding in between, so there's... Next one. Easier. Oh, I can see this one. Sort of. There are air holes underneath, so that makes life easy. see the air vents there, that means I can see the exit hole, which is here, and I can see where this is pointing. push it back in and it holds itself still there and we can now just tweak these all up and test the motor. Need to be super tight. Go. That's our motor fix. Now let's put the flywheel, the pulley on it. Put that away, don't need that anymore. Do need that one. No. Might even move the next size up. That's the kitty. I have cleaned out the key ways. Let's see now, which one did I find? Nudge it on a little bit more. That will do. Now 
and sign that up. Motor fixed, running. That was probably scrapped for that noise, which is quite sad. It made it 40 or 50 years and then someone decided, well, it's making a noise so we'll throw it in the bin. Well, what can you do? Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.